Hey there, today I'm diving into a crucial topic for anyone considering or undergoing NK cell therapy, the hidden danger of a cytokine storm. First off, what exactly is a cytokine storm? Imagine your immune system going into overdrive, releasing a flood of proteins called cytokines. This causes an intense inflammatory response which can damage multiple organs and in severe cases, lead to organ failure. It's a serious side effect seen in immunotherapies, viral infections like COVID-19, and certain cancer treatments. Now let's talk about NK cell therapy. Natural killer cells are amazing at targeting virus-infected or cancer cells. They've been getting a lot of attention recently, but here's the kicker. If these NK cells go rogue, they can release a massive amount of cytokines, especially interferon gamma and TNF-alpha. This supercharges your immune response, but it can also attack your normal cells, setting off a cytokine storm. So what ups the risk? Well, it depends on a few things. Treatment intensity. Too many NK cells can be a bad thing. Your immune status. If it's already unstable, you're more susceptible. And the treatment course. Combining NK cell therapy with other immune treatments can make things worse. Prevention and management are key. Careful monitoring and tailored treatment plans are essential. Anti-inflammatory drugs or cytokine inhibitors can help keep things in check. Clinically, options like IL-6 inhibitors and corticosteroids are used, depending on the patient's condition. NK cell therapy holds a lot of promise, but it's crucial to manage and prevent these excessive immune responses. Thanks for watching, and always consult with your healthcare provider for personalized advice.